Hey guys, Jared here, and today we're going to discuss laptop upgrades while I upgrade my own laptop. Different models of laptops have different upgrade options. Some may only allow you to upgrade the disk for example, while others may allow you to upgrade the RAM and graphics too. Basically it all depends on the particular laptop that you have. So before buying any new hardware you should check the manufacturer's website to see what's possible and supported. If you know what you're doing, by all means go ahead and open up your laptop and take a look around. In the laptop that I've got here, a Clevo P650RE, it's got an Intel 6700HQ CPU. The HQ series of CPUs are soldered onto the board, so I'm not able to upgrade the CPU with this laptop. While you may be able to remove your CPU, you should first check what other CPUs are supported by the motherboard, as it may not have been designed to support a wide range. Some laptops may also allow you to upgrade the graphics card as well. It's usually more likely than a CPU upgrade, but still fairly uncommon. Again, it depends completely on your particular model of laptop. If this is something that you'd want to consider, I'd suggest looking for a laptop that has a graphics upgrade kit as an option, so that you have the ability to do this in the future. Again, in my case, just like the CPU, the GPU isn't upgradable here. In general, upgrading the RAM is a pretty common upgrade path for a laptop. Some models may have RAM soldered to the board too, but from most that I've seen you can take it out and replace it with larger modules as long as the board supports them. In the laptop that I've got here, only two of the four slots are populated, so I can easily put in two more RAM sticks to expand my memory easily. In Windows you can easily check how many RAM slots are in use through Task Manager by selecting memory. That way you don't even have to open the laptop up. I'm upgrading from 16GB to 32GB here, as day to day almost all of my RAM is in use with virtual machines. Once the new RAM is in, the operating system should automatically detect it, so it's a very simple upgrade. Another common upgrade path is upgrading the drive. You can either swap out whatever disk is currently in the laptop with one of a larger size, or if you have spare drive bays or slots available you can simply add an additional drive in. In this laptop I'm using one 2.5 inch drive bay already, but have a second one available as well as a spare M.2 slot, so I've got a couple of upgrade options. I've bought a 500GB Samsung 850 EVO SSD, which I can put straight into the free slot. All that's left to do is to boot into Windows, select Computer Management, Disk Management, and partition the disk for use. If you're swapping out the primary disk running your operating system, you'll either need to first copy the data over to the new disk or install a fresh operating system. I'm just using the extra disk to run virtual machines off of, so it's all ready for me now. As we've seen, it all depends on your specific laptop with regards to which components can be upgraded. If you're unsure, check with your manufacturer or consult the manual. In my case, I've easily been able to add in a new SSD and double my RAM with minimal effort, allowing me to get better performance and more life out of a two-year-old laptop. So upgradability is definitely worth considering if you're looking to buy a new laptop. So what laptop upgrades have you guys done? Let me know down in the comments, and leave a like on the video if you found the information useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.